As we get set for our opening fight of the night, and it is for Ebony Bridges world title. 37 years old, she's five foot one with a reach of 62 inches. She'll be taking on late replacement Mio Yoshida, who's 16 and four, and had about a month's notice for this fight. Here we go, 10 rounds in San Francisco. Bridges is uh, normally a fast starter, but she says that she's gonna show us a different side of her, a little bit more boxing things that she's learned uh, training with Dave Caldwell. Talks about obviously the looks of Ebony Bridges, her boxing skill. We didn't talk about her brain. She earned a bachelor's degree in mathematics with a minor in physical education, as well as a master's degree in teaching, graduating at the top of her class. Well, Bridges shouldn't be too afraid of Yoshida's power, considering Yoshida has 16 wins and zero knockouts. Stop! I got you. You're holding. Bridges coming off the dominating performance in their all Australian grudge match, beating Shannon O'Connell. That was back in December of last year, so almost a full year out. Good jab by Yoshida. Both of them landing good jabs. I like how Yoshida stretching it out and really dug down to the body as well. Good job. Sorry, you mentioned uh, Dave, uh, Dave Caldwell now training uh, Ebony Bridges. You've got Orlinato Sosa, who's in the corner of Yoshida. He took over camp about three and a half weeks ago. So just when she started to train with Sosa, well-known trainer in the New York area, she got the call for this fight. So they're trying to work out things on the job as well. Yeah, Yoshida in her second fight in 32 days. But this is for a world title. you got to take these fights. Nice oh, short right hand by Yoshida. She didn't pull it back. It was a nice short... Short shot to the left side of Bridges' face. I don't even think she saw that punch. Yeah, don't be fooled either by the scorecards in Yoshida's last fight against Soretta Metcalf. I was in New York for that fight. That was a competitive fight that was really close. Uh, some of the scorecards, two of the scorecards, were, in my mind, outlandish. Yep, she lost that fight. Bridges hasn't fought in 364 days, so maybe some rust so far for Ebony. She told us yesterday she didn't expect to have any. Nice counter punch there from Yoshida. Yeah, she had a check left hook earlier in this round as well. Just really nice counter punching by Mio Yoshida. And I'll be honest, Sergio, I, I think that Ebony Bridges right now kind of looks like a fighter trying new things. Looks like someone working out some of the stuff that she worked out with a new trainer. It doesn't look yet like the fighter we've seen in these last two fights. No, she should go back to what she is. She's an aggressive fighter. She likes to, to, to put her chin down, go forward, and dig away. That's what she needs to resort to because right now she's stuck in between styles. You're right. She's getting that work. 36 punches landed for Yoshida in the first three rounds. 23 for Ebony Bridges, so the better work is being done by Yoshida right now. Well, not in the last minute. I think Bridges uh, got, got the hint that she might be losing these uh, rounds. She started a lot more aggressive and closed the distance earlier and starting to fight her fight now in the still round. Look at the power punches as well. 30 landed for Yoshida. This is a big surprise. Got I'm looking back at some of the quotes I wrote down from Ebony Bridges yesterday. She said, I want to be more patient. I want to be more composed. I don't want to all out press her. I don't need to go in there and try and knock her out. That's when your name's the blonde yeah, bummer, that's not usually what you're going to do. Yeah, it took two rounds for her to decide to go back. I mean, she's already going back to her old ways. But look, this is Yoshida actually fighting really well. She's throwing the right punches. Look, not smothering an attack right there. She has Bridges on the back foot on the rope. Hands free. Hands free. Don't hold the punch. Yeah, I think Ebony is finding out Yoshida is a little bit better than she thought she might be. Well, this is a two-time world champion, so she definitely has the resume. Oh, nice right hand by Yoshida. She kind of measured her with that jab, which is illegal, but the referee didn't say that, then landed her right hand. Ten seconds, stop the ball. Your hands are free. Your hands are free. Fight to the belt. Good right hand there from Yoshida. Good right hand from 
Yoshida. And with two-minute rounds, it's those kind of eye-catching shots that get the attention of the judges. And backing up Bridges. You know, she's being very physical, Yoshida, in there. Oh, what a slip and fall there for Bridges. No knockdown. Oh, I'd have to take another look at that one, too. Nice uppercut there by Bridges. Yeah, now Bridges, as you mentioned, Sergio, continue just go in there and start hammering it out. That's exactly what she needs to do. I mean, now, whatever she try to work in the gym, she has to maybe save it for next time, because right now she's in a fight. Oh. And she needs to make this an aggressive fight. Mia Yoshida. Hey, give Yoshida, give Yoshida credit. She is doing absolutely nothing what she told us she was going to do in the fight. <laughs> this, this is the Yoshida I saw in New York about a month ago, a pressure fighter. She got beat because Sharetta Metcalf moved a little bit better, stuck a little bit better, but this is the fighter I saw. She is fighting her fight. She's been tough for a long time. Lived on her own since the ninth grade. So she fights for single mothers around the world, donates a lot of money. Good body shot by Yoshida. Right hand there from Yoshida. And now she's going right after the blonde bomber. This is not what anybody thought this fight was going to look at. Look like, excuse me, right hand after the bell from Yoshida. Good work. Yeah, Bridges needs to concentrate on the body right now. I mean, Yoshida's kind of wiry upstairs, and the body's not moving. So right there, Bridges should be digging away at the body, both hands. Maybe that could stop, stop the aggression of Yoshida. Oh, keep the hands in check. Oh, the right hand again from Yoshida. And now she's just rock him, sock him. She told us she was going to stick and move. I can't train with the blonde bomber. Oh, contraire, mon frere. That's exactly what she's doing. She's exchanging. With Bridges, this is the wrong fight for Bridges. She's getting up five. I'll slow. But if I told you Chris Mannix yesterday they will stand in the middle of the ring and just unleash power punches, what would you say? I would think that's Ebony Bridges' type of fight because the last two fights have been exactly that for Ebony Bridges. She is the naturally bigger puncher. She is the naturally bigger fighter, but she has been bullied for most of this fight by Yoshida. She's having a fight of her life tonight, guys. Absolutely. She can't miss with that right hand. No head movement by Bridges. Those two right hands wobbled Ebony Bridges. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Look at the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you get caught up in the fight. Sometimes you think, we're giving Bridges no credit. Numbers never lie. Are the judges seeing it the same way as Chris Mannix? Love to hear what you're thinking at home. Make sure you play a part in our watch party. What a job the training staff has done for Yoshida. How left hand connected. Bridges lean forward there a little bit. This is it. Ten seconds left. Oh, big, big left hand right there by Bridges. Oh, well done. Good, exciting fight. Yoshida thinks she's done enough. What do you think at home? Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in San Francisco, California, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Dr. Lou Moret and Zachary Young, 99 to 91. Pat Russell, 97 to 93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. has beaten Ebony Bridges, and the judges saw it the same way we did, Sergio, an absolutely dominant performance by the 7-1 to underdog.